How's it going, you sexy beast? Today, we'll be covering what I think are the best light machine guns for the Heavy Assault class. Now, I'm sure you're going to say, Hey, Dratomus, there's no such thing as a best in plant side 2. And you'd be right to say that. But, in my opinion, some weapons perform their roles and others rather well. With that being said, my personal best light machine guns need a few statistics to perform to my liking. These include a good bullet damage, great accuracy, and manageable recoil without too much horizontal drift. I aimed at finding a particular weapon that could be a jack of all trades, rather than being super specific for one particular range of engagements. I'll cover the basic statistics for each weapon, then move on to recommended attachments, and then give some tips on using the weapon to the best of your advantage. Starting off, we'll check out with the new conglomerate. By far, my favorite LMG has got to be the EM6. This thing comes packed with a 100 round magazine, another 300 in the reserve, a moderate fire rate, and a hard hitting bullet at 167 maximum damage. This weapon is designed to take the damage and ammo capacity of the NC6 Gossaw and merge it with the fire rate and control ability of the EM1. Thus, our EM6 fires at 600 rounds per minute, which is pretty average in comparison to other factions, but is among the fastest firing LMG for the new conglomerate. With its 167 bullet damage, it will take 6 bullets to down someone in close quarters and no more than 7 bullets at any other range. Vertical recoil per shot is .45, which is slightly below the Gossal's 5.5, but still holds roughly the same amount of recoil per minute due to its increased fire rate. First shot recoil multiplier is 1.8 times, short reload speed is 4.65 seconds, and a long reload speed of 5.5 seconds. Muzzle velocity is 570 meters per second, which is perfect for how we'll be using this weapon and can be increased further through our attachments. Next up is the Terran Republic's LMG, the TMG-50. Built very similarly to the new conglomerate's EM-6, this is the highest damage per bullet LMG available to the Terran Republic. Dealing 167 damage at close range, the TMG-50 has the best damage adaptability at range in comparison to any other TR light machine gun. Oddly enough, the new conglomerate's version fires slightly faster than the Terran Republic's LMG. The TMG-50 clocks in at 577 rounds per minute, but has a slightly faster bullet velocity of 615 meters per second. Only loaded up with a 75 round magazine and another 225 in the reserve, you'll have to be a little less trigger happy with this LMG in comparison to the new conglomerates. Vertical recoil is .45, which is lower in comparison to the EM-6 due to the slower firing rate. First shot recoil is a rather low 1.5 times. Short reload speed is 4.24 seconds with a round still left in the chamber and 5.23 seconds reload speed with a completely empty magazine. Last but not least, the Vonner Sovereignty. If you've seen the previous pattern for weapons that I've been, I've been choosing, I'm sure you can tell which weapon I'm going to recommend. The SVA-88. This is actually a toss up between the Flare and the Ursa, but the SVA-88 came in and just destroyed the competition with its sheer badassery. Even though the SVA doesn't hold the same bullet damage as the EM6 or the TMG-50, the fire rate and effective range surely make up for it. Each bullet deals 143 damage maximum, but is fired at a rate of 698 rounds per minute. This isn't the blistering fire rate of the Orion, but it's pretty dang close. Coupled with the .45 vertical recoil and the very low 1.5 times first shot recoil multiplier, you've got a very capable weapon of destruction within your grasp. You'll be carrying around a 75 round magazine with another 225 in the reserve. Short reload speed is a very badass 3 seconds, and long reload speed is 4.18 seconds. So you'll never be out of the fight for far too long if you're caught in a reload. Muzzle velocity is 630 meters per second, and couple that with some high velocity ammunition, you're looking at an extremely fast connection time from your rounds. Lastly, the largest benefit the SVA-88 has over other light machine guns is the aim down sight move speed multiplier. Most other LMGs will cut your speed in half while aiming down the sights, whereas the SVA will only slow you down by a quarter, allowing you to side strafe to victory while hosing down your opponents. In regard to dressing up these beauties, there's only one clear-cut path to take in regards to best performance. 
our rail slot hands down has got to be the forward grip. All of these guns have no horizontal bias, meaning they'll sway back and forth with each shot. The forward grip will help alleviate some of this uncontrollable recoil and make your shots much more accurate at longer ranges. Load up the high velocity ammunition to further increase that bullet speed of ours. As for our sights, there's only two that I can recommend. The night vision infrared scope or the two times reflex sight. These two offer the most adaptability. If you absolutely need to get a higher magnification scope, the only other sight I could recommend is the 34 times scope. Anything more is far too excessive if you get caught in close quarters. A good rule of thumb, if you are having trouble handling recoil, avoid the night vision scope entirely. It has built-in weapon sway, which means you'll need to hold down shift while aiming in order to get a straight vertical series of shots. Otherwise, your aim will be all over the place if you're fighting out at 30 plus yards. If you're curious about a barrel attachment, I'd stray away from any of them. The Compensator is a good choice if you absolutely need to reduce the vertical recoil or are new to handling of the recoil, but since these weapons all have very low recoil, you're just hindering yourself if you get caught in a hipfire scenario. These LMGs are certainly not going to be your number one choice if you're going to be running headfirst into a biolab doorway or to spearhead your squad toward a capture point. Designed to accompany a methodical player, you'll have to spend a lot of your time absorbing your surroundings and choosing a good firing lane to make the most of your weapon. Since you have damage and accuracy at your side, make sure to engage enemies at about 15 to 30 meters as your weapon will surely outperform theirs. With your low cone of fire bloom per shot, low recoil, and large magazine, you'll more than likely find yourself getting a little trigger happy. You'll need to keep in mind not to fire at any more succession than about 7 to 10 bullets before letting off the trigger to return your cone of fire to its original position. This goes doubly for the SVA-88 since it has the lowest recoil imaginable. And as I've stated before, these particular weapons are not built to be a close quarters hip firing beast, so you'll need to take cornering a little more cautious than usual. I find myself dying rather frequently while cornering solely due to me taking the corner a little too fast and being unprepared for an encounter. You'll need to keep your weapon at the ready, such as preemptively aiming down sights or not to sprint around like a crazy person, which I tend to do quite frequently. This is more of a do as I say and not as I do kind of deal. Hopefully you all found these light machine guns as effective as I have and kick some butt with them on the battlefield. So these are all by far my favorite light machine guns, and I would love to hear which are your favorite. Love the fast fire rate of the Orion, the high damage potential of the Gauss Saw, or the hip firing awesomeness of the MSWR? Let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video, and maybe you learned a thing or two. If you did, please give me a mega super big ass awesome thumbs up. If you did like the video, thumbs it down and let me know what I can improve upon. It helps a whole bunch. Thank you very much. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. It's free!